actually measure the difference before and after a firmware um, upgrade to see whether there's actually a measurable difference in noise floor or uh, receiver sensitivity or selectivity or whatever it may be that they've changed. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the Sherwood reviews, yeah, I mean, Rob's a, a good guy writing those reviews, but, uh, you know, that, the whole fact that, the, that there's so much weight placed on where they are in the Sherwood uh, particular receiver, uh, when really all it's looking at is close in um, performance, close in blocking performance, RMDR, uh, which is really only relevant if you're CW up and you're next to a very big signal. It's um, it's probably almost completely irrelevant if you're an SSB operator. So um, I know Dan Farson, who I'm sure you know, he runs the um, the group's IO. Um, 7800 and 7610 and other groups um, he does a test called noise power ratio which is probably a bit more useful for the average operator and uh, actually um, talks about signal to noise in wider bandwidths as well not just blocking performance at 2 kilohertz so yeah when, when you start looking at NPR numbers um, so the chart rearranges quite differently there and um, some of the uh, radios you'd expect to be uh, not the greatest in the world are actually right up there in the uh, top few. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a bit of a slant on uh, on that whole uh, measurement uh, ethic and uh, why certain brands appear at the top of the charts and not others there. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I take it all with a pinch of salt there. Um, it's uh, interesting to look at, but uh, I'll, I try not to let it... Um, uh, colour my view of uh, what radios are the ones to use. I mean, you look at this old girl that I'm very fond of, the 7800, it's way down the list there. You know, it's old technology, it's um, it's RMDR, it's probably 80-something DB, not 110, 115, so by rights of that chart, I should throw it in the bin there. <laughs> but that's not going to happen there. There's more, uh, more than one way to uh, measure a receiver's performance there, that's for sure. And some of it's um, not measurements either. It's, it's uh, ergonomics, you know. Uh, we've both been down that TS990 uh, track where it might be the best-looking radio on the desk, but uh, it's certainly not the best uh, radio to use in terms of menus and adjustments, and uh, it's not the best receiver either. Um, I think I got caught with the... Uh, with the handsome stakes, you know, two, two LCD displays and hundreds of buttons, etc. Well, I've got to have this, but uh, now I run it uh, as you did, side by side for a while, and uh, ended up selling it on there. Uh, nice radio, good transmit audio, very nice TX, as per most Kenwoods, but uh, yeah, not not the best receiver. And uh, incidentally, the 890, as you know, is a better performer. The receiver specs are quite a lot better on the 890. And uh, even though Kenwood uh, in Australia is finished, there's more and more 890s appearing in VK6 by uh, guys that are DXs and uh, CW operators, etc., that have actually decided that that's the radio for them. And they're buying them through DX Engineering in the US. So, yeah, it may not be available locally, but people are importing them themselves. So there you go. Anyway, with that, 7-3, Peter, and I uh, hope there's uh, somebody else waiting to continue a QSO with you for a while. Have a nice day, mate. G2YT from VK6IA. See you later. Oh, the sun has just come out here. It looks like it's going to be a very nice day, actually. Uh, but funny you should say that about the CF890. I yesterday, I found myself talking to Zulu Lima 1 with the uniform cell. And he is using a CS 890, which he had imported from the X Engineering uh, because there was no no cost, no, no availability in New Zealand either. Um, and I, I commented to him, you know, if we get something, we'll go wrong with it. What a pain in the bank, right, to go and send it back for a while to repair. But uh, we're prepared to do it, so uh, it's for some reason doing that. Yeah, I hope it's a 990. Uh, I don't know what to do. radio exchange. Uh, no, it wasn't at least before. I thought they used to go years ago. Martin Lynchon, but... Yeah, it's not far from the store airport. I've got a beautiful looking HF Sun from the bench. And thought, wow, what a beautiful looking bit of equipment. I'm going to have one of those. And I walked out with it. 